Today I'm sharing some easy and fun things that you can create for your everyday home decor. And for this video, I'm using things that came completely from my stash. So I didn't have to buy a thing. And the items that I use today are things that you can pretty easily find in a craft store or a Dollar Tree. I can't wait to show you what I created, so let's get started. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. A while back, I saw these house shapes at Dollar Tree and I picked them up and put them in my stash. <laughs> I paid for them first, of course, but they've been in my stash quite a while and I thought today would be a great day to use them. I also had some balsa wood. I got a pack of it at a local hardware store and I'm gonna use them to make a planter. And I'm just measuring out the pieces and I need to cut one of the pieces down so that it fits. With the balsa wood, all you have to do is use a craft knife craft knife and kind of score it a few times and it breaks off pretty easily. When I do a project, I will keep scraps on hand for future projects. Dollar Tree carries or did carry some rub on transfers with a bunch of words. So I'm going through my little stash and I'm pulling out the leftovers and I then start laying out all the words to see how I can make them fit best. And I put some of my Waverly paint into squirt bottles. Now my friend Tammy over at the Rusted Willow puts her paint in these squeeze bottles, but like the kind that Cece's Pizza has that their salad dressings in. And hers are pretty cool because they have like the no leak spout and stuff. Mine are pretty basic and I forget where I got them, but they get the job done. So I put some paint onto one piece of the balsa wood and then I paint the balsa wood. I paint the outside of the house frame and the back of the house shape and Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. Now to rub on the words, they rub on pretty easily and I just place them around until I like how it looked. And now I'm using hot glue to attach everything together. I put one side on first and then attach the other house shape. I had this squared out and I don't show this, but I stained it with Waverly Wax in the color antique to add some color contrast. And then I cut it down to size and I add it in to the planter. And it was tight enough fit that I didn't really have to glue it down or anything, but it's also not really a handle that you're going to be carrying anything heavy. So I added some foam that came with a package that I got recently. I use that as a base for my greenery and I just added some greenery to it and that's it. And I think it adds just the right pop of color and you could change this out for the seasons, add florals if you want to, all kinds of things. Hey y'all, this video is part of a playlist that I host every single month with my friend Sarah from Jujube DIY. It's held on the first Friday of the month. It's called the First Friday Playlist. And this month, April, is Craft Your Stash. So everybody on the playlist was encouraged to use items from their stash, just, you know, from the things that they already have on hand. And this month's guest toast is Christine from DIY Craftaholic. As usual, the links to the channels and the playlist are gonna be in the description box below. So I hope you go and check them out. I had this mini rolling pin in my stash and I stained it with Waverly Wax in the color antique. And I'm just taping off the end so that I can add some lines when I paint it. I'm going back to some old school favorites and using Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultra Matte Paint in the color charcoal. Everything was going fine until I went to remove the tape and I didn't remove it um, like cleanly so the line wasn't crisp. I tried to fix it but I mean you know it is what it is. I cut out a decal using my Cricut and at this point I realized I made the word a bit longer than I thought and so the line wasn't making sense to me. It just looked kind of off like like why do you have that line there? So I painted the line and just added the decal and I added a bow to the end and that's it. Super cute and it's gonna look awesome on my tiered tray. Hey y'all, I wanted to mention that I have a crafting group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget and I run it with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. I would love it if you join, it's free. And if you do join, please post a project pic that you're working on currently or something that you've just recently completed. We would love to share and support and encourage you in your creativity. So the link will be below. I taped off part of the front of this circle at an angle and then I stained half the front all around the circle and all of the back in Waverly Wax in the color antique. I taped off the stained part and painted the other half of the front with Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. I cut out a decal with my Cricut, it's just the monogram letter H, and I attached it to the front, popped on a bow with some greenery, and that's it. Another cute piece to add to my tear tray. So easy to make and so easy to create. Be sure and leave me a comment below and tell me what you think about it. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really hope that you enjoyed the projects that I shared. And if you did, be sure and give me a thumbs up. 
you know, like and subscribe, all the things like that to support my channel. I really do appreciate it. And um, if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram or something like that, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye.